Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As I promised in my previous video, today I'm going to share some of my family winter traditions. Here we go. First of all, for all Russians, winter starts on December 1st, and this date is kind of significant, and everybody is sharing on social media, like, oh, the first day of winter. I noticed that in the United States it's not as obvious. So what do I do starting December 1st? First of all, dishes, I mean plates and tableware. I have a special Christmas set from Villeroy and Boch, and on December 1st, I put all other dishes away and only the winter ones stay. So kids wake up and they have breakfast from those beautiful, lovely plates, and they understand that Christmas and New Year are coming soon. I have some uh, red ones in the classic collection, and there was some anniversary collection, the golden one. I use it for breakfast, and the red one is for everything else. And the gem of my collection is this La Boule, of course. It looks like an interior design piece, but actually it is a set of uh, plates. And for 30 days I keep it on the counter as a decoration, and then only for the holiday dinner I use it for its real purpose. The second one of my traditions is reading winter books with Roman. He already waits for it every year in November, so on December 1st we sit down and we sort them all again, and every evening he picks one book and just uh, him and me, we read it together. We love reading these books, they are extremely beautiful. This is one of my favorites, it's called 12 Months. Inside it looks incredible. And this one has beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Just look at this. These cats, I don't know, they just brighten my evenings in winter. Another tradition is to attend as many holiday events as possible, and every year I try to find something new. For example, this year we traveled uh, on the Polar Express. I've never done it before, because only this year I read a book and watched the movie finally, and it was such a great experience. Also, for a Christmas spirit, we tried to attend uh, different drive-through Christmas lights, all that kind of stuff. Uh, also, I always miss the European Christmas, and um, we try to find local Christmas markets, the European style. For example, this year they organized one in the center of Denver, right in front of the Capitol. You can go there, drink glue wine, eat some German sauerkraut, all that stuff. It's incredible. Another interesting place was the ice sculptures at the Gaylord's Rockies Hotel. I have never seen ice sculptures in the United States. In Russia they are super common. I grew up uh, on them. But for David, for example, it was the first time in his life, he said. And I enjoyed it a lot. It was dedicated to Charlie Brown Christmas. Very, very good job. Another little tradition, of course, watching Christmas movies all together. And uh, about this I already recorded my previous video, so if you have any ideas for the future year, which movies I should watch, please let me know. Another tradition that I started a couple years ago is doing advanced calendars. And in Russia it's not popular at all, but here I see that they have all kinds of them. And for myself, I buy something about makeup. This year I have one from Rituals. And another one, I think it looks fantastic. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I will be very grateful if you press like under this video. And please share some of your traditions. Thank you very much for watching, for staying with me. And happy holidays. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.